The discovery of a couple murdered in Georgia points to a bigger problem, Internet and Craigslist safety. Police say Bud and June Runyon were murdered while trying to buy a car that they had found online. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell explains what we're learning from this tragedy. Family members say Bud Runyon posted an ad online seeking to buy a piece of his youth, a replica of the 1966 Ford Mustang he bought after returning home from the Vietnam War. Investigators say Ronnie Towns saw the ad and responded to set up the purchase with Bud and his wife June in Middle Georgia. Five days later, police found the couple dead, their car submerged in a nearby lake. Police don't believe Towns ever had the car and that it could have been proven by an internet search. You know, I would actually see pictures, have them send me pictures of this vehicle. I could actually run the address, make sure the address verifies, look in the yellow pages. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do on the internet. In our area, we've seen similar tragedies in the last year. This past September, a Catoosa County woman was murdered, and police say it's because the suspect, Catherine Goins, wanted her children. Deputies say Goins allegedly lured Roberts into a home after promising her free baby clothes. If convicted, Goins could potentially face the death penalty. In another case in Chattanooga in December of 2013, a man was shot and killed in a by low parking lot when he was trying to sell computer tablets and pulled a gun on a victim who also had a gun and acted in self-defense. Police say there's a message we all need to hear about meeting up with strangers to buy or sell goods. If your gut feeling tells you to leave, then leave. Get down there. You know, turn around and go. That's not worth your life or anybody else's life over. I'm Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9. The suspect in the Georgia couple's death, Ronnie Towns, was denied bond yesterday. The Catoosa County case has yet to go to trial.